Hi everybody, we are at Savers right now and I found some pretty cool bags. I found what, two, three, maybe four pretty bags. Let me show you. I've got this one, a Juni, this one, a Betsy, and we're gonna keep looking and see what else we can find. Um, that was pretty much all of the bags as of now, but I'm hoping that somebody will come out. Let's go back and see if the rack is back there ready to come out because that's the best part really. And I do not see one, but I see some nice bags hanging out back there. One of them being a Dooney and Burke. So we'll just kind of hang around here for a little while, shop, and see what we Sometimes find some really nice bags hanging over here in the men's section. This is like where all the men's backpacks, uh, fanny packs and stuff is. I found some nice leather bags over here before, which I don't see any this time. Okay, here's a little Kate Spade, $60. This Michael Kors is, let's see, um, I don't see the price. Here's a Brighton. This is, this one shouldn't even be hanging up here actually. This is a really inexpensive brand. And the asking 25 Coach, another Kate Spade. This looks like an Aldo. Oh, it's INC. Faux leather. Here's a little Juicy Couture clutch. A little Brighton shoulder bag. Kind of a metallic blue color. Doesn't have a long crossbody with it. Here is a green Juicy Couture. A lot of wear. Coach. And another Brighton. Here is a Coach wallet. And this is a, a Juicy Couture, actually. Fake purse, it's fake leather, uh, no name. And this one is kind of cool, I do like this one. This is an Arcadia. Kind of like that epi leather on a Louis Vuitton. It's pretty. And then down here we have a fake Dooney and Burke. They've got hanging up here. The reason I don't fake is because it's plastic. Um, and they're asking $35 for the plastic Dooney. All right, so we're gonna go looking through these again. This one is kind of a nice find, but I don't like the scratch on it. This is a, um, oh, I can't remember the name. Um, it starts with a V, let's see. I'll show you the little tag in it. It's a vintage find for sure. Um, this is the name. Made in Colombia. A little baguette. And then what is this? Christian Soriano. This is a vintage, the same brand name. V. O-L-E-Y, I believe. That's not leather, although it looks like it. What is this? This is cute. Um, pink with gunmetal hardware. Oh, it looks like, yep, it's Forever 21. Rosetti. Here's a little crossbody, it looks like. A vintage leather crossbody. It just says Made in Italy on it. We come down here to the larger ones and see. vegan leather, faux leather, whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm not even going to bother with that one. This is pony hair. And it is by Soul Society. A vintage Liz Claiborne. This looks like a sack. I'm not sure, let's see here. Oh no, it's Liz Claiborne. I love this little faux fur backpack. It's fuzzy. $6.99. Let's see. 
thought it was leather, but it's not. Plastic. That's a cute little Aldo, I'm thinking. Yes, it is. I've sold this exact same one before. Pretty cute. Not gonna pick it up though. Got a pretty good um, supply at home. I just like to find if there's anything for fill-ins or whatever. Alrighty, my friends, let's show you what we came up with today. We've got some cute little things here. Um, let's show you what I got myself first. Let's get that out of the way. Can you guys see those big garbage bags back here? That's all donations. I went through my closet. I cleaned out my closet just to restock it again. Anyways, these are super cute little pink, um, Victoria's Secret pink sweats because I'm a lounging kind of gal. So they were $10.49, which is kind of expensive, but it is what it is. It's not like, it's not like I'm buying brand new stuff. So that's brand new is way, way, way more than that. So you guys already know that. Um, I got some sunglasses here. These were $4.99. And they're just really, really comfortable on. I love them because they're like a pink and black cheetah. And they are no names, I believe. They're just, just little cheapies, but they're in really good condition and they're really comfortable on. So I'm just gonna leave those on for the rest of the video. Okay, I got this French Connection bag, a pony hair and leather tote style bag. Um, it's got the top handles. It's got this really cute shoulder strap that's chain and leather. And then the top closes like this. It's got these two magnetic, um, two magnetic snaps on the front. So it closes like that. It's hard to tell because it's not stuck. There you go. And then it unsnaps. And it's a navy blue interior with slip pockets and a zipper pocket. I thought this was super adorable. Um, so it's like a little tote style. It'll look much better when your things are in it and it's all filled out. I'll go home, clean it and stuff it. Leather back, cute little top handles, bottom. Okay, so that's French Connection. The French, yeah, French Connection. Okay, and then I picked up this um, really cute Betsy Johnson. These fly out the dang door these um, little bag slash wallet on a string. So this is Betsy Johnson. It's got a cute little silver star, a gold heart. You open it up and you can slip like your little, most used credit cards right here. And then there's like two slots. And then you have this larger pocket. And then um, here's your crossbody strap with a little chain. And then the purse part, the little zippered purse part. Let's get her zipped up here. Okay, and then the back is black and white stripe. It says Betsy Johnson on the little heart. Really, really adorable. Okay, so I got this for me because um, I forgot to show you. I guess I should have already shown you, right? Um, it is leather and it's by um, Hype. So the reason I got this is I had this strap handmade at home. I'll have to show you. It's really cute by a designer that I really love and it's got different pieces of um, cowhide, hair on hide pieces like cheetah and then she also put like really cute little patches on it. I'll have to show you when I get home. So this is a really adorable little bucket bag um, and it's just right size for me. I like smaller bags as of now. It's got a really cute little top handle on it with the little pockets on the front. It is genuine leather, striped interior. So I did get this one for myself. If I decide to sell it, I will let you guys know. But for right now, I'm gonna give it a shot and see how I like it. And then this Dooney and Burke, so adorable. I love this Dooney and Burke. Um, black pebbled leather baguette style, but it's not too small. It's definitely a medium sized baguette. I'm going to take it home and clean out the bottom because it's a little dirty on the bottom, but that's not a problem. But I just really love the equestrian style um, shoulder strap on it. And then it's got your little Dooney and Burke hang tag, um, all genuine leather. It's got the little key 
lock on here and I'm really really loving this style bag as well it's just and it's in all other than the area I need to clean out it's in excellent condition it's stamped Dooney and Burke right here on the front so yeah um, that is actually all we got here today you guys there wasn't a lot to choose from but I did the best I could and and uh, got the best bags I could find and I just really do like this one a lot so all right you guys that's gonna be it um, <clears throat> excuse me these bags will be on a coming up, upcoming sales video so I'm kind of liking these they feel pretty comfortable and for five bucks what do you know right all right you guys stay humble stay kind and I will see you guys on tomorrow's sales video bye bye